Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're checking out Hometopia today, which combines two Hometopia. of my favorite things. People hiring me to do a task, and me ignoring everything that they wanted, and yet somehow still accomplishing things. And here we are in the <laughs> wild world of Hometopia. We've got all the greats. Midtown Hello, Heights, Josh. Courtyard Mobile, whatever that says, these things, and all these people in the back that are so insignificant to us, the game has blurred them out. <laughs> For now, the game wants us to start small. So let's see which it's one whatever. of these three jobs we should take. Well, we've got this one. Small Small renovation job, one room okay. to renovate with a nice base pay of $1,147. Or we could do this one, two rooms to renovate, $1,900. Whoa, whoa, or we whoa. could do this one, two rooms and $2,100. Hey, wait, what just happened? Uh, oh, God, it's been replaced. If we don't act fast, these jobs literally disappear in front of our very eyes. Okay, fine, we'll just take this one. Angie, buckle up. We're coming in to renovate. Thank you for being prompt. I need your design Angie? expertise. Wow, you're going to wish you hadn't said that. I tried it myself, chosen? but didn't get very far. I will not be happy with subpar furnishings. Don't worry, I got this. I wasn't listening anyway. So here we what are in this neighborhood like that's already? name I already forgot. You can tell I which house we're supposed to be working on furnishings. on account of the fancy white border. I mean, that and some of these other houses look entirely neglected anyway. Like, look at this one over here. Does somebody actually live here? You don't even get a <laughs> sidewalk, huh? Wait, can we do that to Angie's place? I mean, I know we're here to fix up a small oh, living God. room, but we're also gonna help Angie fit in. And by that, I mean we're gonna help her house blend in a little bit. Nice brick pathway. How about we sell you? Oh, wow, that totally works. I like it. it. Works, See, look no at that. Way. We're already helping out. Okay, looking much better. Something I really enjoy about this game, by the way, is you have two perspectives to deal with. You can do walking around mode, where you can roam around the property in first person, or you can go into fly mode. Ta-da! Just like that, where you can do all your fun renovations from, like, a god view. See, look how great that was already. For now, though, let's go ahead and check Beautiful. out the house. A See dog what we're window. dealing with. Oh, I Ugh. see. Wow, this sure looks like it went off the rails Angie, fast. Angie, what the this fuck is that? This was you trying ahead of time? Are you sure you didn't just go into like a drug-induced stupor? Otherwise, how do you explain the pizza boxes and what, the, what the fuck historical are her standards? maps? Angie, and what? what? Hardcover books? I'm sorry, did all this renovation interrupt your tomb rating? And how have you been living with this disaster right next to like a normal house? Like that crappy living room <laughs> was right off from this brand new beautiful kitchen? I mean, comparatively, this kitchen's kind of hideous. Let's make a couple Why of changes first of all. Let's take this window and put it right Right there. Good. Great. And also, let's take those dishes, as much as I like them sitting on one of the burners, and let's take those where they belong. Outside for someone else to deal with. Yep, that's the spirit. And for this fridge, we're just gonna take it and put it in the corner like so. There we go. Beautiful. Facing the corner. It's in a timeout right now. I love my fridge fact, facing the corner. In fact, what's to stop me from just grabbing all of this stuff and just moving it outside the house? Even this rug that we can't see from the outside. Actually, you know Beautiful. what? Let's go ahead and place this right in front of the door here. Oh, no. There we go. Home I've sweet home. I've seen people home. do and that. I don't like that the front like, door Oh, right into this crack den. So and let's go like, ahead and just take why? that door. How? Let's move it to somewhere that feels a little more exciting. The there we color. go. See, good thing we moved that fridge because now the front door is here. Anyway, back to this room, I guess. As you can see, it tells us all the things we need to do. Everything from floor and wall coverings, etc., etc. So first, we're going to start by cleaning up all the crap. Hope you had copies of all these ancient documents because they're going away. <laughs> Wait, how am I supposed to deal with graffiti? Oh, oh, well, there you go. Fun. Can I do the same thing with this? Wow, I fixed all that with a dustpan? <laughs> I didn't realize we were going to be sorcerers. Well, whatever, the room is clean now. Next step, let's Everything work on flooring. Has been wow, look at all the different things sponged. we can install. Like, yeah, we've got all the stuff you'd expect, like flooring and walls and doors and windows and stuff. But then we have a separate category for just fireplaces, railings, structures, Ooh. like pillars and balconies. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's not unlocked yet. I guess for right now, we're going to have to stick with just the stuff we're supposed to do. So if I recall, she hates wood, so we're going to use wood. Not just wood, by the way. Beautiful laminate wood flooring. At least some of it. We want to make sure there's some variety what in here, which is why we're going to mix it up to this vintage worn it's hardwood. Horrible. Okay, looking Console. good. And not at all like the picture. And we'll finish it off with a little bit of this. Okay, there Thank we go. You. It's looking great. Let's move on to wall coverings. Oh, well, look at this. We have interior walls, exterior walls, and then a nice primer, which we're definitely oh, not going to do. Let's see. What do we think will look the worst? Siding, brick, or stucco? I think this living room demands a nice side. Oh, okay, ew. So we'll just gussy up the space oh, so gosh. it looks like the outside of a shed. And while we have the tool out, why don't we just go ahead and add a couple here too? There we go. It's oh, great. No. Really ties the two rooms together. Wait, can I take this window and just put it right here? 
<laughs> oh, that's good too, actually. You always want to be able to see what's happening in the kitchen, right? <laughs> okay, time for seating. Seating of one, apparently. What do we think? Does a toilet count? I mean, with the lid down, it's kind of a seat, right? And in fact, let's go ahead and place that right there. So you can take a crap <laughs> while staring into the kitchen. And the answer is no, the game does uh, not yeah. count that as seating. Good okay, fine, wings. we'll look at actual seating. Do we want to go with this wooden stool or whatever this thing is? And why is what the picture the for this one that? inside? Whatever, we're going to go with the wooden stool. Let's see, no, can I just place it like, right on top of the toilet? Oh yeah, there shiny, we go. Shiny, Truly, shiny, it is art for the modern shiny, age. Shiny, and as for lighting, can I just oh go God, to like another horrible. room and take their stuff and install it here? Fiddlesticks, this game is too smart for me. Okay, well in that case, <laughs> let's find something that goes with the room. With the ah, classic ball. porch light, also on its side. I think we have a winner. I don't know, I kind of like how this is turning out. Oh, you know what's actually going to really help with the charm? Customizing some of this stuff. I'm not really oh, sure what no. I'm looking at here. Are you trying to tell me that these are all the designs I have at my disposal for customizing? So wait, if I take like this colorful diamond towel fabric, can I just apply it to the toilet? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, you can. <laughs> Unfortunately, oh, no. it doesn't look like it magically works on everything. Like, yeah, you can try to customize this lamp, but try as I may, it doesn't get that much more exciting. Other stuff, though, definitely does. I don't know about you, but oh, I love no. my window frames, so look like I wrapped oh, them like hell. a present. Anyway, back to living room furniture. I was afraid <laughs> to choose something like this vintage wide sideboard, because look how stupid and normal this looks. But since we can paint it, like using this cute picture of this cat, <laughs> and now we can make it look appropriately hideous. I like that we what can't even see the cat anymore. This? Oh, wait. I was wrong. There's one in one third of its eyes crying out for help. Turn Sorry, cat. Your soul is part of the dresser now. Oh, my God. You want to know what else I learned? Some items will stack on other items. Oh, happy day. Up to and including the toilet. Well, I think I know where all this stuff is going. As long as we check off all the boxes, I'm sure it's going to be fine. Okay, there we go. Just the way we all like to watch TV. Oh, my God. We're almost done. I can almost taste all the money I've clearly earned. I guess this is all the decor we can choose from. And we do have a lot of options options, but I think my eyes are drawn to these window treatments. Like, normally you would take window treatments oh, and put no. them, like, right here, right? Like, in front of a window. Can I just put them anywhere as actual decor? Oh, good. Yes, use it to frame the toilet. And we'll put another one right here. Uh, yeah, Let's also put one here to commemorate setup. where there used to be a the door. Hey, you know, speaking of, what is even in this room? Hello? Hello? Oh, a bedroom. So I guess this is what? The bathroom? Ugh. It's so nice Ew. in here. Why Actually, hang on. I'm gonna borrow this. This would be great decor in the living room. Oh, well, it didn't count, but I'm leaving it anyway. But just to make it extra creepy, our fourth piece of decor is gonna be some child's toy. But like a smart nice. child that sits around and loves to play with their <laughs> abacus. So nah, we did did it. Hang on, before we go, I want to do one last thing, which is move this door right here so that while you sleep, you have a clear view of the neighbors <laughs> and you can no longer access the bathroom. Job completed. <laughs> Angie I'm writes, one star, I'm moving <laughs> out. Good. Thanks for the $500. And we gained a little experience for our troubles. Oh, and in case you're wondering why we only made $588, it turns out Angie had some deductions. She disliked 21 items, didn't like wow. the mismatched floor or the wow. non- kids rooms with kid items in them and most bafflingly didn't like the toilet outside the bathroom <laughs> so picky well that was a complete wow, success Angie and right is now so we've only ungrateful. got little renovation projects How like dare that she? thankfully as you can see they're not that hard come to on do. Angie, and we're get gonna your have to do together. a couple of more so that we can level up from rank two and there we go outdoor construction jobs available god help us all oh boy yes, are you as excited so as picky. i am for this oh small goodness. outdoor construction job okay so jane nixon here she wants really a backyard changed. bar seems easy enough especially because of there's no fence back here. So I kind of feel like That's this can graceful. be the backyard or this can be the backyard or maybe even this can be the backyard. So here's how this would normally work. First, we need to build a new room and assign it. And when they say build a new room, what they mean is one of these foundations. And so what the game wants us to do is plop down some foundations and then go up here to the room planner. And then we look over the thing we just made, which currently is set to unassigned. Unassign. And we can do something like assign a backyard bar. And just like that, that's what it's designated Boom. to be. So I don't know about you, but I immediately had a thought, which is at this point, what's stopping us from just doing stuff inside the house? And that's when I saw oh, that no. everything is locked, which means the game doesn't want to let us switch to unassigned and try to unassign this kitchen. I mean, with good reason, too. We're supposed to be building a backyard bar or whatever, but that's when I figured out something else. If we were to take our little square of backyard bar here and then decide that we want to build some walls for it, if we build a wall straight across like this, it reassigns stuff. Look at that. Now it says it's uh. too small and only 65 square feet. And then okay. we have a second backyard bar. Also too small. And it even shows me two backyard bars in the tasks here. So then I started to wonder, would that work on a locked space too? Well, let's find out. First things first, let's move some of this stuff out of the way. Why because is we're he gonna so draw horrible? a wall right 
between these two sections. It'll make sense in a second. Okay, so let's just take a wall, draw it right across like this. Oh my. <gasps> Looks like the locked kitchen got even smaller. But now there's a second kitchen. Can I switch this to That's unassigned? That's not locked. Oh, good. So wait a oh minute. Does that goodness. mean I can make the locked kitchen completely disappear? Like if I just draw through it again? Okay, it halved the kitchen again. And then once again, we can unassign one side. Well, what about if I just use she separate little things to make all little bro. quadrants? Ah, I see. Three of them become customizable kitchens. And then we have one tile that is our locked kitchen. What so if we'll just unassign the, the... these. Get rid of all these walls. And now this room that previously was the kitchen is <laughs> technically only the kitchen on that one tile. Which I think means we can establish all the rest of this as the backyard bar. <laughs> yep, we sure can. Oh well, hey, God. at this point, why stop at a medium backyard bar? Now that we have all this oh, available no. real estate to work with. Okay, what so is hang happening? on. Let's go over here. Move all of this crap out of the way. Do that thing where we chop up Outside. the room into as many little small pieces as we can. Where the game now thinks there's countless small bedrooms. Which gives us all <laughs> kinds of fun information, actually. Room is too small. Client did not request this. And it wants <laughs> us to add all of that stuff in every single room. Good thing we don't actually have to do all that, right? Once we un assign everything, all of our problems just go away. And shockingly, that one little square, that's still the bedroom. The game doesn't even ask for all that stuff anymore. It's like, nah, you just need to paint the walls, put a light in and some decor. But I notice <laughs> that once you start deleting walls, even that goes away. The game is happy now. <laughs> well, time to do that with the rest of the well, house. Just grab them. everything that's going to be in the way for my wall paradise. And then it's time to add walls everywhere. Okay, that's one direction down. Now to finish off the grid. And then go over this whole thing and unassign everything we can. Get all the walls back back out of the way. I also tried to put the furniture back where it was, but I mean, <laughs> that's probably good enough, right? I don't really remember where Fair. it was. I'm sure this is about right, uh, though. Especially perfection. that right there. The perfect <laughs> accessory for anybody crying themselves to sleep. Anyway, all the lock spaces have been, shall this. we say, optimized. Technically, that's the whole bathroom. That's the living room. <laughs> that's the hallway. And there's our <laughs> kitchen, bedroom, and bathroom, which leaves all the rest of this to become backyard bar. <laughs> God. Oh dear, that's not what I meant to have happen. Oh. I didn't mean to make seven backyard bars. Oh yeah, somehow I already forgot what the walls are gonna do, which is to separate it out by separate little rooms. Just remove so let me all unassign the walls. all that. And I think there's really only truly one solution to this. We've just gotta demolish all these walls. Here goes nothing. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. What do we think? Do we think this will be good enough? Sure has that backyard bar feel, doesn't it? Okay, now we can assign this whole thing as one big bar. And look at all the money we can save on this. We don't even need to put down our own foundations. I did oh, notice God. we have an added task for exteriors, which looks like it's happy with our roof coverings and the surfaces on our zero out of zero exterior walls. But it wants five windows. I mean, fair enough. I get it. To make that happen, I'm going to install one piece of wall right here. Slap some plaster on it and hopefully be able to shove five whole windows in this one space. Yes, there we no go. Way. We've done it. And now to focus on the backyard bar. We don't even have to put floor what? coverings. The house itself already did that for us. The rest is just painting this one wall, slapping down some kind of entertainment, like this crappy little radio, you know, to really get this party started. Oh crap, that didn't count. I forgot that's not technically in the backyard bar. It's in the kitchen. Oh, no. Well, I can solve that right now. Ta-da. <laughs> okay, cool. That did it. And we know the drill. Just put crap everywhere to fulfill the requirements. And that's how you make a backyard bar. Where the entire roof is held up by just this one wall <laughs> and sort of this pile of furniture. Thanks for your business. What? Oh, yeah, there you go. Jane Nixon writes, I need to find a remote job because I don't ever want to leave this house. Oh, good. A new neighborhood unlocked. <laughs> Why? Because he fucking can do stuff loves it. Plaza Lake. That's and a also great a new job type. Bar. Home expansion jobs available. Five well, what are we waiting stars? for? We're no longer limited to just Perfect. these renovation jobs or even these small outdoor construction jobs. It's time to land the big Amazing thing design. of the large home expansion Flaws, jobs. Execution. And look at all those skills Just we'll what have I was asking use. for. Planning, you. building, interior designing. Well, this seems easy enough. They want us to fully construct an office, a dining room, a living room, and a baby's bedroom. I'm sorry, whoa, what is whoa, in your whoa. house now? Did you what have none of these things? Let's take a quick tour first, see what we're working with. Oh, okay, I see what's That's going a living on room, here. Bro. They have a small living room, when what they want is a living living room. Makes sense to me. <laughs> okay, so I guess room. for this one, we might actually do some real building. Same situation as before. The game has locked all the existing rooms. Not like that's going to stop us, especially when we have all this extra yard space to work with. But you know, oh, first no. things first, we got to do 
something about the outside decor of this house. Talk about hideous. Like, what do you think all the neighbors are saying when they see this monstrosity? <laughs> so first things first, let's I convert all the these house walls into green, glass bro. walls. Oh, yeah. This is already starting to look better in that creepy <laughs> jail cell kind of way. Wait, if we can't stop there, cool, we should probably though. do all okay, sides like, of the like house. Ass, I don't care how nice. much of our income it takes up. The heart wants what it wants. Oh, I kind of hate to say it, but this doesn't look the worst. I mean, right? creepy, sure, but not the worst. Oh, unless God, you're these neighbors, the I guess. Maybe that's why all their blinds are closed. So they don't have to look over at the creepy house. So you can watch <laughs> them while they're watching you, while they're taking a crap. We are going to get rid of all these walls inside the house, though. It's kind of our signature move. Oh, yeah, that's much better. It's like a stage play in here now. You just have to pretend you can see the walls. Well, okay, we should probably still have something making the bathroom a little more private. Otherwise, no. that's just awkward. We do need a door for it, though. And you know what would work better than a garage door? Open. Oh, yeah, here Making we more go. Windows. Wait, is this the kind that goes out or up? Oh, I see. How convenient. I like how aggressively glossy it is, too. And then I guess you need to wedge yourself directly into the corner so you don't hurt yourself closing it. Wait, so is it going to smack me in the face when I open it? It can open both directions. This Whoa. is better than a real garage door. And what a unique ambiance this provides to our view of the <laughs> crapper. Anyway, ambience. moving on from this. Right now, the client's house is a beautiful two-story thing. And while it's clearly already the most exciting house on the block, I think we can do better. But that depends if the game's going to let us build a third story. It oh, yeah, it looks like it can, right? Wait, can I just start my third floor without even removing the roof? That would certainly save money on labor, wouldn't it? Let's see. It won't let me place one right here. But I don't care. Can I just place it right here? Okay. Okay, good, whatever, fine. What a magnificent house this is. And we'll kind of slim it up to just be this size. Unfortunately, over here in the room planner, it doesn't look like it's gonna let me assign rooms oh, to this no. space. What if I start pulling up like individual pieces? Will this do the trick? Oh yeah, there we go. Well, that's just swell. <laughs> I think we found the baby's bedroom. Seems like oh, the no. perfect spot for it. What? Room is too small. Okay, so it's be it. It's a baby, we'll bro. A How much more room does a baby mean, need? We're gonna trace out all the space we're gonna empty out. And we're gonna turn this floor into, <laughs> you guessed it, a maze. Oh, whoops. Looks like I deleted too many things. And not just this hole in the ceiling, but also this thing right here on the side, which well, is fine. We can use this. And by it's that, okay. I mean glorious, glorious stairs. Okay, let's see. How does this work? Where does it consider to be okay to put stairs? Now, I know if it's indoors like this, it'll work. But I don't want to put it indoors. I want to put it out here like this. So first, we'll delete some of these things. Okay, and let's see. Will this do the trick? Excellent. The changes that someone else paid us to make are slowly being <laughs> realized. And it doesn't look like I can stack stairs on top of more stairs. Oh, no. Wait, I have an idea. What if we use ceiling tiles <gasps> and we just put them underneath the stairs? Good, great. And then we add some walls just like this. Not even oh, all no. the walls, by the way. Just enough to add these two little pieces. Actually, wait, can I delete this now? Oh, good, perfect. <laughs> That's what we like to see. Cheating the system. My God, can I just draw this stuff anywhere? You sure can. New idea. We're going to put some construction all the way over here because I just really want to show off for it's the neighbors. So a complete lack of respect for physics. I can't draw these to the neighbors, can I? Okay, no. We can build right up to the edge of our property and no farther. <laughs> we'll just go ahead and keep perfecting our system here. And it does allow us to exercise our creative brain to create something for the client that'll surprise and delight. I'm actually also super curious here. How many floors up can we actually go? Well, I guess we're about to find out. Pretty decently high as it turns uh out. At around 10 floors up, it stops letting me build. But overall, I think I'm okay with this. The main thing that matters to me is that we can go all the way up here and look down on all this inferior housing. Also, I didn't do this. The what? game just understands my wants, apparently. <laughs> anyway, it goes without saying, but this is it's definitely just like, where well, one of our rooms I know what you be. want. And I, I think we all know which playing. one, right? That's Let right. Just, uh, New location for the baby here. bedroom. Okay, so first, let's get some carpet going. Something nice and corporate. It's probably gonna be nice. Oh, Next, I see let's him play some play kids' furniture Sims like this rocking so chair, which, of course, we're gonna uh, put precariously right here on the edge. Oh, good news. To this stuff can him? stack on each other, oh, so God. it can really go over the edge. Wait, wait, this is making me ask more questions. Does that mean I can just keep stacking stuff on top of this? Like, even higher than this? So at first I thought the answer was no, but then I realized a couple of things. For one, it's probably because we're right up against that property line, which had me wondering, if I pull this thing back, and maybe not use these things because it looks like I can't stack them anyway, and instead uh -huh. we're gonna try stacking with this kid's table because it's a little cheaper, and you can place it a little bit farther out. Can I just keep doing this over and over and over oh, again? 
again. Can I then take this thing and then just move it all the way to the edge? Oh, good. We found oh, a way to I make it go past the works. boundaries. Okay, if we're gonna keep building outwards, we're gonna Wait, need a little has extra space. Videos? So we're oh gonna my sit God, here in the very corner those. of the map and start building up from here. So hold, please. Okay, I think the this is about as far grip? as the game's gonna let me take it. Which I, for one, am proud of the art we've made. Okay, you come with me and let's see if we can take this thing all the way up the house and over oh, to this platform. Boy. Oh my God, I think it's gonna let me. Well, the answer is yes. Yes, it will. I can almost not even see how high it goes. Like, the view almost won't let us see it. But it's definitely a worthy addition to our baby's bedroom. Oh, actually, hang up? on a second. There's one more addition I want to make. I gotta bring it all the way back down here just so I can edit stuff on the top. And up here at the top is where we're gonna put the baby crib. Yes, good. Perfect and secure. There we go. The ultimate I baby's bedroom. It. And if you need to take care of the baby... Oh, wait, you can't. I myself am not allowed to go past that little boundary. Yes, that's right. We're stuck on this line here, but baby gets to go anywhere they want. And we need to handle lighting, and I've got some ideas for that. Here we go. Some nice standing candles. Yes, what could possibly go wrong with this? Actually, you know what? This has me thinking. And by thinking, I mean I've come up with another idea on how to utilize something as glorious as this. So I was thinking about our neighbors over here with their big, beautiful, nice house. And I thought, there's no reason they need to close all those windows. It's not like we're intimidating or anything. I think they just need a chance to get to know us. So in order to do that, let's demonstrate for them some of our skills. First, let's go back over here to the very I, uh, corner of our house. I uh, I have podcast. <laughs> Lily, you wake up. Yeah. Um, I kind of forgot how quickly time passed watching videos. <laughs> Temporarily, we're going to build a couple of foundations out here, only so that we can build on this. And I was taking a look at some of the random decor options that we have, and I discovered an item in particular that really caught my eye. The checkerboard. First off, look at the size of this thing. I'm just happy it's large and flat. For comparison, by the way, here's a whole weight bench. I almost feel like this checkerboard is here solely for mischief. Anyway, so we're going to take another board, find the very edge and place it there, and then place another and another. I'm sure you can see where this is going. And now that we've extended to the very edge. Let's go ahead and keep expanding. Okay, and at the end of this, we're just gonna take this like that. Okay, moment of truth. We're gonna try something now. So we should be able to grab this checkerboard right here and click and drag the whole thing. And then we should be able to take it and drag it somewhere else. And let's see if we can't drag it into our house, like, I don't know, right about right there. And then this whole thing breaks through the walls all the way over to the neighbor's house. And not just over to the neighbor's house, but inside. Ah, yes, good. The addition they've probably always wanted. An extra toilet right above the entryway. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize it was so barren in here. Well, don't you worry. We're a good neighbor. We'll help you out. Okay, I've prepared a couple of care packages for the neighbors. Just checkerboards all over the place. And now it's time to deliver. Okay, here comes one. And putting down another. And one last one right there. All kinds of stuff that's designed to help them feel nice and appreciated. Now, obviously, just like before, we have the toilet. But now, we also have a nice little entertainment area for them to use. Complete with sofa, coffee table, tables and a television. And then once you're done watching that, go ahead and hop over to those other chess boards, which will take you to your nice dining room table, complete with a placemat, silverware, and fresh baked lasagna. Mmm! There's even room for two. Oh no, but what if it's past your bedtime and it's time to go beddy by? Oh, no problem. There's a bed in here too. I even put custom sheets on it. And as you can see, the image translates perfectly and doesn't look like a total nightmare. Oh wait, I almost forgot I have one last surprise for you. Hold please while I slide right into your house house DMs. Here, I made this just for you. Just to let you know if you need anything, I'm here for you. Even though I don't live here and this isn't my house, but the people that contracted me to work on this, I'm sure will really appreciate it. Isn't that right? Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. Five stars. Overall, this is lovely and I love what you did with the living room. You mean the neighbors? I also love what we did with it. Well, that was fun. I'm looking forward to seeing how this game develops as it makes its way through early access. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this. I hope you had fun. I know I did. And I'll see you next time.